Hi, I'm Sam from Sheridan Computers. In this video, we're going to look at recovery of a edge router from Ubiquiti. This is an uh, ERPoE-5. So this is the uh, five port PoE version. It doesn't boot, it's bricked basically. So we're gonna see if we can recover it. Um, we've got the instructions here on Ubiquiti's website. I'll leave the link to this in the uh, description below which guides you through um, what you need to do, the recovery image that you need to download, etc. Uh, how to connect to the serial console. Um, you can use Putty if you're using Windows. Um, I'm using Linux, so we're going to use Screen to do this. I've already downloaded the file. Um, as I mentioned, this is an uh, ARP OE-5, so this one. So I've downloaded this image and I put it on our TFTP server. Um, now, I'm not going to go into TFTP servers too much, configuring them and setting, setting one up. Uh, I assume that's something that you're familiar with if you're using these devices. Um, so before we do this, if you'd like to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on that Hire Us button. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you hit that notifications icon, you'll receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. So... Um, with that out of the way, as I mentioned, there's a USB drive in here. Um, in fact, we'll take it apart and take a look at that. And jump to, not that screen, this screen. So to set these devices apart, we have three tiny screws. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them out. With the screws removed, it should slide forward. It says it. Let's stop. So that's what it looks like inside the edge router. And here we have a USB hard drive. A USB drive, sorry. Without well, there. But you don't need to take it apart to do this. I'm just doing it to show you. And this can be replaced if necessary, if it does get damaged. Um, but sometimes when you do power them off, they just refuse to respond. Um, in order to connect to this, I'm using a cheap USB serial cable. And we have... A Cisco cable to connect to the console. Um, let me go ahead and plug that in. Now I put the back end in the uh, PC, the actual USB serial port. Um, we need to plug this into the console port to do this. So we're going to plug that in. Um, switch this over. On screen. So before I continue, I need to find um, the USB device I've just plugged in, the USB to serial adapter. Um, if you're using Windows, you can go into Device Manager and look for under the USB ports for and find it there. I'm using Linux, so we're going to need to uh, find it. So it will be message correct TTY. Um, as you can see, we're on TTY USB 0. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to the serially. So serial screen dev TTY USB 0. And we want to connect to 115200. Um, this is all provided in the instructions from Ubiquiti. Um, so with that connected, I can go ahead and plug some power into this. And we should see the output on the screen. So this is the initial boot, it's dead. Um, to get into this screen, if it's uh, if you need to interrupt the boot process for whatever reason. Um, 
and you can't restart. So I'll unplug the power to it one sec. Plug it back in. Uh, it does say if you hold the one key down, it will get you to this screen. So if it's not booting, um, you need to get to this stage first. Oh, right. Um, we're going to go through this now. Um, I've already downloaded the recovery firmware for this, which is I've gone with 2.0.6. So I've downloaded this one. I put it on our TFTP servers. Um, we've just called it uh, erv2.image. Uh, as I say, I'm not going to go through how to set up TFTP servers if you need to do that. Um, Ubiquity does have a guide on how to do it. So we're set up, we're in the console prompt. So now we need to, uh, where is it? We're in the right one. This one is the one that I want. Obviously make sure you're following the instructions for the right guide, the uh, right device. Uh, so it says we should be at this prompt, which we are, as you can see behind us. Uh, we need to set the IP address. Um, we need to set the, IT, the IP address of the TFTP server that we're going to be loading the image from. Um, we need to set the active interface and then boot. So with that, I'm going to grab a USB network, uh, a network cable that's plugged into our network, and we're going to plug it into EF0. But now we've done that, we need to go ahead and follow the next set of instructions. Uh, let me move this down a bit. So we need to set the IP address. So copy that. We're going to set the IP address to an IP address of that's on your network that's on the same network as the TFTP server. I'm going to set this to 10.1.10.10. .10 .10. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to set the server IP address. Do that. Yeah, on 10.1.10.249 is ours. Uh, we need to set the active Ethernet port that we're going to use. So I'm in EVE 0, so you need to make sure you're using the right port. Um, and then you want TFTP boot 0, and then you want whatever you named your file. So I just named it uh, ER version 2.image. As you can see, we're now loading the recovery image, which we have done. Uh, so that's all good. We've got to this stage. Um, load the recovery image and reboot the device by running the following command. Let's just copy that. So as you can see, it's found the USB storage. So what this uh, recovery image is going to do is um, restore the original image that was on the device, or the latest version of that image. As you can see, the system's uh, now restored and it's starting to reboot. Um. So here we've got a successful recovery. We'll have access to the uh, web UI or CLI using the default IP address of 192.168.1.1. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my network cable. I no longer need this one. And what we're going to do is I've got a Network cable that's um, plugged directly into my computer, into one of the network cards in my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that into EF0. Uh, as you can see, this is still booting up. Um, so I need to Make sure my IP address is set right on the uh, network card that we're using in the computer. I say I've got two, so it just makes it easier for me. Um, I've set my address to 192 and set 1.250 um, so we can 
access this device. So you can set it to 192.168.1.whatever, one dot whatever, just don't set it to 1.1. One one. Um, and now I have the login prompt. And we can verify that we have the correct IP address. So UBNT, UBNT. Obviously, because it's um, factor defaulted, the credentials should be the same. And it is indeed on 192.168.1.1 for Eve Zero, as you can see. Um, quit this. Uh, let's see if we can ping it. Which else in the can? Uh, web interface is available. Again, log in with the default credentials of UBNT and UBNT. Agree to terms of the agreement. And now we have the initial setup. So I'm not going to go through the setup of this device. It's quite an old device. Um, but that's the recovery of the device. Uh, I'll put it back together in a second. Before we do that, like I said, if you do like this video, please like, uh, take the time to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to have notifications of any videos that we do, please hit that notifications icon. And to hire us, head across to our website and click on hire us. Uh, I'm going to put this back together now and we'll see you in the next video.